What's wrong with this, then? Nothing, just giving it the once-over before it's road test. What, today? Yeah, half eleven. Did you get me fags? Are you going to pay us for them? Are you ready? No. Is it the same in your house? The only time she wants to know is when it's, can you buy us this, can you fetch us that? So I won't mention that fiver. Thanks. See you later. I suppose you will, I. Well, good luck, son. Cheers. Hey, and make sure you've got a fiver up your sleeve. Then if it looks like he's going to fail you, slip it to him and watch him change his mind. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> you will do no such thing. Right. What's going on here, then? I'm taking my road test. Yeah, and there's no wrong with this. So if he does fail you, it's down to you, not the bike. Hey, I won't. I'll pass. Yeah, well, so you do. Well, I'll tell you what, if you do pass, I'll buy you a drink to celebrate if you want. Yeah, all right. You're yeah. on. All right, I'll see you at Rovers at dinner, then. All right. All right, Bob. Eh, not bad. You all right for tonight, girls? Yes, for you tonight. Do you want me to feed them? No, yeah, you're all right. I'll take him on a calf. OK. Mm. Run, I'm going! Yeah. Have you dressed her for the crash like we said? Uh, no, I haven't, cos I haven't really got time. Would you do it? Oh, Sarah, come on. I can't do everything. And after all, sweetheart, she's your baby. Well, Mum does it. No, she don't. She makes you. Oh, shut up, you! Uh, David, could you clear away the breakfast things, please? Sarah, I thought I asked you to change Bethany. Oh, yeah, fine. I'll do it. I'll be late. Who cares? Anyway, what about him? He's not doing nothing. Yes, he is. He's clearing away the breakfast. Look, I've asked you once. Oh, what annoyment now? Oh. Oh, Grandma, she needs changing. I can't do that as well. And then I'll be really late and getting a real mess. Yeah, all right, all right. Leave it to me. Just go. Thanks, Ken. Well, can I go? Yeah. Well, yes. it's not fair if I'm doing all this work while Yes, she... off you go. Just go, all of you go. Yes. Oh, leave everything to me. <sighs> I have just about had enough of this. Max. I wish you'd tell me what's the matter. Who says anything is? Your face does. Anyway, what time was it you was up this morning? I don't know. Six o'clock. And I come down and see what's going on. You just sat there staring at the floor. Come on, Max, please, tell me what's the matter. Is it something I've done? No. <laughs> it's nothing you've done. So it is something, then, you're admitting that? Ash, just leave it. How can I? I don't like seeing you like this. Well, don't look at me then. Why don't you just go to your shop? Right, so, oh, I will. What? Well, if you want to talk, which I know you don't want to now, but if you do, then maybe we can meet at dinner time or any other time. I'll see you then. See ya. Is it summer to work? Is it money? Have you spent some... Ash, I said leave it! I can't stand you having a go at me all the time! I'm sorry. I won't say another word. Why? What are they doing? Oh, you don't want that. You've got to put your foot down, Audrey. Yeah, I put my foot down. I put both feet down. I didn't notice. Well, they probably think you're a soft touch. <laughs> yes, well, I am. Listen, Martin, I know you said you'd take over at the weekend, but quite honestly, I could do with some help now. Right. Tell you what to do then, shall I? What's that? Ring Gail, get her to pack her bags and get back as soon as she can. Well, no, I can't do that. Why not? Well, because she's... You know very well why not. Because she, she's having the time of her life with Dickie Boy. She's away with him, yes. When do you want me? No, it's all right, I'll cope. No, I was joking. So you want me around tonight, then? OK. So, what, I assume that uh, David and Sarah are at school and you're going to be dropping Bethany off at Cray? Oh, I see. You were joking. Of course I was joking. Yeah, next time I'll send you a warning, I'll say, Audrey, joke coming up, then you know what to laugh. <laughs> Just tell me when you want me round. Wasn't he engaged? Well, till he saw me, yeah. Really? So, he broke off his engagement with his fiance to go out with you? Oh, it went straight forward. You see, I kind of made her think that there was more going on than there really was. But, I mean, all's fair when you fancy somebody, isn't it? Sounds like a rotten trick to me. Oh, you'd have done the same. What? Break up a proper couple that were about to get married like they were. 
Cos, oh, I don't know, for a laugh, would it? No. Have you ever thought that they might have actually been really happy together? No, you haven't, have you? Oh, forget it. Baldwin, eh? He's in there. What do you want? You still owe some money. You what? Last week's wages. And you owe me 200 quid that you nicked, so there is no chance. You're not getting another penny. And if I see you hanging around here again, I'll call the police, which is what I should have done in the first place. You'll be sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, all right. Sorry I listened to your sister and employed you in the first place. Now, get out! Anyone found talking to them again, and they're sacked. Oh, Janelle, there's some folk in some nice long late this morning. Uh, excuse me, girls. Can I pint, please? Yes. And... Uh... And a uh, glass of red wine, of course. Not. Hey, looks like Audrey's on her knees. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, she rang me earlier. Can I take over tonight? <laughs> please, 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 Martin. I mean, after all, they are your responsibility. Well, do you know, I knew she was going to find it hard work looking after him for a whole week. <laughs> anyway, I've said OK. I couldn't say anything else, could I? Which kind of got me thinking. <laughs> Go on. Why don't you join me? At Gales? Uh, forget at Gales. I'm the babysitter, you're my girlfriend. Babysitters are always sneaking the girlfriends in, aren't they? They are, love. Come on. Hi, love. I'm gonna kill him. Baldwin? Why, have you found some out? He won't give me my money. Never mind your money. Have you found out about our Linda? No. I don't know what to do. Well, don't worry. Because I'm gonna fix Baldwin. And I'm gonna fix him so that he stays fixed. Well done, son. Thanks, Dennis. Well, of course, it comes as no surprise to me. He did have a very good teacher. <laughs> do you want to tell your mother, or shall I? Uh, no, you're okay. You can do it. All right, mate. I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay. So you passed then? Yeah, of course I did. It was a doddle. <laughs> Come on, then I'll go and get you that drink. Are you okay? I'll get you a drink. No, I said I would, and I will. No, I'll get you a drink. No, I'll get it. It's my pass. I'll do it. I'll get the drink. Yes, son. I want to make a statement about somebody who's missing. Oh, I know my that be. My sister. She's called Linda Baldwin. Hey, I love. Okay. Yes, love. Pint a bit, please. Okay, kid. Oh, look at him. Don't he just make you go all limp? Limp? Yeah, he does me. I think it's the way he fills his overalls. Ah. Hiya. How are you? Can I see you tonight? Okay. Say yes. If you say no, I won't take any notice. I'll still come after you. Yeah, all right, why not? Hey, can I? Yeah, I'll see you in the cafe after work. Oh, I'll see you there. Well, I suppose I ought to say congratulations. It's just that I'd rather you'd failed. Cheers, Ma. He knows what he's doing. Hey, he's proved he knows what he's doing. Yeah, well, that's what they all say until they come off, and then that's the last they do say. She's not always as cheerful as this. <laughs> yeah, she's just looking out for you, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, but... I never see you worry about me. I've got a motorbike and all. You never try and stop me getting on it. Yeah, well, that's because you're better padded than me. <laughs> and because you've got a much thicker head. <laughs> oh, th thank you very much. <laughs> it's been the longest week of my life. I mean, I love them to bits, of course, I do. Oh, dear, but I'll be glad to hand them back. Mmm. You right, lovey? No, no, you're not, are you? I can see you now. Come on, let's get you out of here. All right. Yes, she's fine, thank you. Come on, sweetheart. So, go on, then. You know about my sister going missing? I do. Well, the man that she's married to, Mike Baldwin, he's murdered her. I know he has. What makes you so sure? She had an affair, right? Uh-huh. Well, Baldwin, he found out about it and he, he went off his head. He proper lost it and he said, he said he was going to kill her. How do you know? Because my sister told me. She was scared to death. She didn't know what to do and the next thing you know, it's all going off and she's disappeared. This is a very serious allegation. It's true, though. You'd swear to it? Yeah. In court, if you had to? Yeah. Right. Let's get this on tape, shall we? Right, well, I'll see you later then. 
and congratulations. Cheers. See ya. Ta -ra, love. What are you looking like that for? Like what? Like I'm doing something wrong. Am I not allowed to come in here for a drink? Do what you like. Yeah, I will. Yeah, so will I. So what's the score on Linda, then? Have they come up with out? No, they won't. I mean, all this business about the car and hiding away, she wants everyone to think I've done her in. Nobody thinks that, I'm sure. They are the people in this pub do. See, it's what the bobbies think what counts. Yeah, but before they can accuse me of anything, they've got to find a body, right? And when they find this particular body, they'll probably find her alive and kicking in some rich man's bed. Congratulations, love. But you want to watch it on one of those things. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. So be careful. He's gonna be. I'll take you for a ride and repel you tonight. We'll do a ton down the M6. You do no such thing. You don't exactly help yourself, right. do you? <laughs> I'm off. See, See you. Bit. Yeah, get off. What? I know you're going out with Maria. I just hope you treat her right. Going out with Maria? Where'd you get that idea from? I've seen you with her before. Yeah, only to congratulate me on my bike test. You need to get your facts straight. Right then, Fred, I'm off. Very uh, well. Don't let it get on top of you. I said, don't let this business get you down. Mate, it's easier said than done. What were you doing talking to him? Well, what were I supposed to do? Stand by me, I would have thought. I am standing by you. Don't mean I can't talk to an old pal, does it? He does when that old pal has done who knows what to my daughter. We are man and wife now, and I take that to mean that we stand by one another as far as our Lindra is concerned. And that means not talking to the likes of him. You know what I'll find this Harvey Reuben? Yeah. Reuben's textiles in Bolton, he owns it. That's handy. Just one more thing. Why don't you tell us this sooner? Just... I thought she'd show up. Everybody did. I mean, you don't think of murder, do you? Not at first. No, I suppose not. OK, well, thanks for your help. So what are you going to do? Make some inquiries. <laughs> don't worry, we'll do everything that's necessary. Because he's sly, Baldwin, and he's crafty, and he'll try and lie his way out of it. I'll bear that in mind. Hiya. Hi. Can I have a word with Maria, please? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Maria, young man wants a word. What? Look, um, I've got a few things wrong. Yeah, we won't argue with that. I mean, the only reason I'm seeing Fizz is... Fizz. The only reason I'm seeing her is because I thought you were seeing Jason. What I really want is I want you back. Yeah, well, you've had your chances, haven't you? You had them before I give you the ring back. And anyway, it's not just this. It's the way you've behaved. So, no, just leave me alone now. Look, I'm going to take over your remaining appointments. I'm going to send you home. Oh, look, I'm fine. No, you're not. Come on. Get home and have a lie down. Tell Ashley you've got a headache. OK. Mind you, that's all you're telling, OK? Mm? Good girl. So what do you want to do tonight, Lenny? Dunno. Watch telly? Well, not watch telly. You can watch telly any time. Except tonight. Look, I'm offering you anything. You know, we could go to the pictures, bowling, you name it. I suppose we could get a video. No, no video. We want to do stuff together, just the three of us. No, I don't know why I bother. Treating your dad to his tea, then, are you? Oh, fat chance. Well, it's nice you can spend time with them. Yeah, I can't get them to decide what they want to do tonight, you know. I'm offering them pictures, bowling, you name it. Hey, I wish somebody had asked me. <laughs> Have you finished with that? Yeah, I think so, Vera. I don't know. What is she looking at me like that for? Daft old bag. Hey, she just thinks I should have stopped with Maria, that's all. Yeah, well, you didn't. You're with me now. That is what you want, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Hey, you know when Maria dumped you? Yeah. Well, did she give you your ring back? Yeah. Oh, well, hang on to it, eh? You never know. One day, 
you might want to get engaged to somebody else. So what are you saying? You don't want to do anything with me tonight, is that it? You don't want to do. You only do it because you think you have to. Oh, is that right? And is that what you think? You're always in a bad mood. A bad mood? Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh, well, I am sorry. But maybe I've just got a lot to be in a bad mood about. Now, finish your tea. Jan. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Uh, a bit mixed up, really. Listen, Dennis, why don't you tell me to get lost? I know that you and Eileen are happy, and I don't want to do anything that's going to mess that up. Yeah, but you're not happy. Would you be, William? You were once. Long time ago. You talk to him? Why? Are you fed up of me talking to you? <sighs> no. I love talking to you. Too much for me on good sometimes. But you just don't know till you try. Hi, hi. What's going on here then? Is she bothering you? <laughs> no, no. Just, you know. I stood chatting to neighbours instead of getting my tea on. Why well, have to put up with, eh? Do you fancy a pint later? I might do, yeah. Great. I'll give you the shout. Oh, come on, I'm starving! Made it obvious they'd rather be with you. Why? What have they said? I always seem to be in a bad mood. Wonder where they got that from, eh? Well, maybe they haven't heard it from anybody. Yeah. Maybe they just have to look at your face and it's obvious. Yeah, well, don't have to look at it anymore, do they? Max, what is the matter? I'm just not hungry. Yeah, but why are you not hungry? Please, Max, tell me what's wrong. It's... It's nothing to do with you. Well, it is because you're my wife and I can't stand seeing you like this. I want you to tell me whatever it is, I don't care. But I want you to tell me. No. Oh, well, that's not very fair, is it? I mean, if I was getting up at six in the morning and not eating my dinner, you'd want to know. No, I can't. I just can't tell you. Oh, well, there's no point in me talking to you, then, is there? I'll just go, then. Is that what you want? Right. I'll go out. I'll go and talk to someone that wants to talk to me. Come on, it's all right. Hi, Dad. Hi, yeah. Uh... Martin. So you survived then? Oh, I need your store, dear. Right, where's Sarah? Well, she's upstairs in her room. Right, Sarah! I mean, they're very good kids, really. I'm not complaining. Well, you can complain all you like, but save that for Gail when she gets back. What? Get down here now, you! I can't! I'm in the middle of doing... Yes, you can. Down. And you, Skerritt, right, you can turn that off hey, and get this lot sided that. up. Well, you can't now, can you? And you, Audrey, come on. Over the road to the Rovers. Get a G&T in your hand. Well... I will, yes, eventually. I've just got somewhere else to call first. Right. Sarah! I'm coming! Hiya, love. Are you all right? Yeah. I have a pint. Yeah, only you, you seem in a bit of a hurry at lunchtime. No, just something I had to do. What's all this about fixing boredom? You haven't done out stupid, have you? Yeah. Nothing. I'm going to happen. I thought about ringing the police again, asking them what they're doing. I mean, I don't want them just forgetting about it. I don't think they'll do that. Why? I just don't think they will. Right, I'll get these. What does everybody want? Mine's a pint. Uh, I'll have a dry white wine, please, Janice. I'll give you a hand for the glasses. Oh, he's such a gentleman. <laughs> I shouldn't have come. We can't not set eyes on each other. We're mates. There's no wrong with that. There's a lot wrong. When you find yourself thinking the things I'm thinking. Like what? You know, like what? Like what might happen if you're not with Eileen? Like what might have happened when you were staying with us before and then, which I wished it had. Do. Oh, just forget a second. Yes, love? Uh, three pints and a dry white wine, please. Well, do. 
Oh, hi, Ash. All right. You're having another? Yeah, go on, then. Maxine's in a right old mood. Oh, yeah? Why? She won't tell me why. Though what I think is it's time that Mum she's found out she can't get pregnant again. Though it's hit her harder than usual. Cos after the operation she thought things would be different. Yeah, could be. Anyway, I'm fed up of asking. If she wants to keep it a secret, that's up to her. Come in. Right. You're on your own? Yeah, she's gone out. You haven't told him? No. I haven't told you either, though, and I haven't told anybody. You haven't told me what? Oh, Audrey! I'm pregnant! Oh, no! I did one of them test things. Oh, no, Maxine, those can be wrong. Oh, no, well, this one in... I feel it. I, I feel pregnant. That feeling that I've been waiting for all this time, and then when it does happen, I'm just praying that it wouldn't happen. Oh, sweetheart, old Maxine, no darling. <laughs> but now listen, you don't know who the father is, no. So it could be Ashley's. I don't think so. Somehow, do you? Oh yes, but it could be. That's what you've got to keep telling yourself, darling. 